Good morning. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that... There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel sick. Anyone here? Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Interco that way. Later that got it. Ah, you'll work. You can say uh, if they don't hire you. Then... I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him.
shit. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go
Is your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Holy shit. You did it. 
We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? With the Bureau? Are you still sane? Please, talk to me. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. Is it safe to come out? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out! <laughs> director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile for hiss that worked somehow the and just like the hiss. It's it, it, I'm sorry. I'm, this tread shot. Ah, uh, I found the white hell. This all it's hard to make push the hiss. You did that, and you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown. But how? I'm not ready. A janitor, let me. <laughs> this it's look. Not yet. If you can, because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened. But I can't trust her. Yes, I can try. I'm speak- We can try. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. them. I saw. It would thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. The Bureau Cabin. Maybe that's- I can't. It was one of- and before my- I kicked my Bob, but I think he knew that he came under the- it's an- I'd maybe he can- I mean, it's- we'll get the- oh, that's- the, I don't- he, keep an eye. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The hotline should be in the... Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know.
Revelations. The word describes this is